An excerpt from Andrew Tate's interview with me now is Bakari Bronzagaro, a social media influencer who's recently been fined for entering someone's home uninvited for a prank. He goes online by the name of Mizzy and Laura Bates from the Everyday Sexism Project. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, first of all, Mizzy, you're coming on to talk about uh, your connection and contact with Andrew Tate and Tristan Tate, but also uh, to apologise uh, for your behaviour as a prankster. I know you're now wearing a tag. You're wearing a tag now for a year. Um, can I just run through some of the things that happened in the pranking? Um, you entered a house, the door was open, you entered the house not knowing whether people were in, uh, videoing as you went. Uh, you knocked a man onto a road. Um, you ran off with an elderly woman's dog before taking it back. And uh, you said to a man on the tube platform, do you want to die? Now, all these things, on their own, in their own way are terrifying. Do you actually apologise now for them all? Of course I do. In, when it happened, I took accountability for my actions and I went there the next day and apologised to the woman off social media. Because so you, you guys need to understand, like, I'm here for a reason. I planted a seed in you guys' minds. Every, every day of my life, I've been doing social media, basically. Mm -hmm. And I'm just reporting my um, experiences, just documenting my journey, literally. You men are watching my journey right now. and. And some of that journey, as you say, and you've apologised for, because I, I, I watched and you said that actually it's easier to do the hateful stuff, it's easier to get more money from doing the hateful stuff. Do you now think that, that you have to do something different? Because you've sort of Not mined, even with hateful mined stuff. that I don't now. need to do pranks anymore. I'm, I'm, a, I'm established as a prankster. You guys call me a prankster. Mm -hmm. I've never once said I am a prankster. You guys, the media had the media paints a picture in your brain, and this is what Andrew Tate was trying to show you guys, isn't it? When I was at the lowest point of my time, when everyone was trying to counsel me, draw me out, Tristan popped up to me. Uh, forget social Tristan media. Tristan Tate, this is Tristan yeah. Tate, this is yeah, Andrew's brother. He popped up to me and was like, "The way you're going, I can see potential because Ro recognizes Ro." He popped up to me and was like, "I can see your potential." And but because the way I'm going out here, the way I'm going out is wrong. He's been vilified. Yeah, basically. Right. So, um, and now you've been vilified. The Tate brothers uh, contacted you. What actually happened when they contacted you? So obviously he DM'd me and he was just like, um, the, I, "I can see your potential." Obviously, like I was just saying, the way you're going with it is not going to get you what? far. Um, because just the, my confidence and my my stride, right. my like, look, look, you guys are just sitting here going through a script, doing your thing. I, I'm coming here and egging it. I'm winging it. I don't know what I'm saying. Nope. I'm just saying whatever I'm saying, and I'm going with it. I'm a confident person. Everyone needs to be confident in their own accord. So, that, that's how I see yes, it. Yes, but part of that confidence, obviously, you know, Andrew Tate's got that confidence in a way, in a different way. I want to talk to you about some of the things that Andrew Tate has said, um, and I wonder if you think it's problematic to get in tow with them. So, for example, you know, things he said, you know, women belong to men. Uh, on a plane, there's a female pilot I noticed, w most women can't even drive. Uh, he said, you know, I, I, I go out and I F somebody, I come home to my woman, that's not cheating, that's exercise. And this last one here, if I caught a woman cheating, it's bang out the machete, boom in her face, grip her by the neck. That is hate speak. Presumably, you don't go along with that kind of speech. Of course, do you? I don't go along with that. I, I, I don't look up to Andrew Tate. I don't think he's a role model or anything. And, and I don't look up to nobody. I am my own person. Everyone is their own person. We don't need to look up to nobody. But it's it all came out the same way. It's not even about that. He is painting a picture that the news, the media, everyone paints a picture. But wait a minute. He's painting a picture with controversy. It may be controversial. All of this stuff is it's allegations at the end of the day. But he no, hasn't no, been I, innocent until proven guilty. No. He hasn't said nothing to attack any. What he's saying is wrong. I'm not condoning what he's saying, in a sense. That yeah. You're, you're not condoning what you're saying, but you, are you criticising? Would you criticise him for saying these things? Because well, the, that's that's what you, that's human's job. <laughs> that's human's job. No, no, no. That, I, doesn't, I, that doesn't matter to me. I, I'm I'm not here for Andrew Tate. I'm not here to report Andrew Tate. I'm not here to make money out of Andrew Tate. That's what you're doing, basically. No, but realistically, that's what you're doing. No, but no, but no, but I, no, but yeah. I think there's two things here. The first thing would be that if you align yourself with Andrew Tate, but you also say that some of the things I'm that like, he says... Who's saying I'm aligning myself with the guy? The guy reached out to help me, to show me that the ways that I'm going in life, the way that I was portraying myself as Mizzy, because Mizzy is an online social media yep. persona. Re understand it, guys. Mizzy and Bakari but, are two different people. But what is it about Andrew Tate that appeals to you and other teenage boys? Oh, his confidence and his stride and the way he talks and carries himself. No, I'm not, I respect women fully. I was raised by a single mum. My mum was in, like, I live in the hood. Like, I was raised down. Mm -hmm. So you guys need to understand that I, I'm not in any shape of way supporting what Andrew Tate says about women or any, any of that thing. Thank I'm you very much it. for that. Um, Laura Bates, um, so much misogyny and hate in the language that Andrew Tate uses. Who are the people that can counter that? 
Well, we've got loads of incredible male role models at the moment, mm -hmm. I think, speaking out about so many different things about different kinds of masculinity. You've got Jordan Stevens, mm -hmm. you've got Marcus Rashford, mm -hmm. other guys on the England football team. Mm -hmm. You've got young men who are talking about mental health, Professor Green and others like him. There's a lot of role models around, but it's also about men who are in boys' lives. You know, we're always mm -hmm. talking about men in the media, but also, I think, dads, male carers, mm -hmm. teachers, youth coaches, everyone has a part to play. But yet, you know, his traction is massive. And his traction is massive. I mean, there are stories of kids, like, in primary school knowing who Andrew Tate is. Yeah, well, I think part of that's because we're here discussing him you tonight. Guys give because... him, you give, guys give him the platform. It's literally what it is. You give him the platform. Mm. You're giving me the platform right now. Yeah. Everything I'm doing is bad, apparently, what you're saying. I'm on BBC News I right agree. now. Like, come on now. You I man agree. played the game. You're playing the game. It's all the system. But, you're literally painting a actually, picture but, into the audience's actually, mind. What's is quite... this your water? It's my water now. It's fine. I totally agree with you. We're here talking yeah. about him tonight because the BBC has decided to give a 40-minute sit-down interview to a guy who's Currently under arrest on but charges it, of rape and trafficking. But well, if he's under arrest for those charges, if they're really it's heinous it's crimes and you're not like, and he really. What? But what is them, it, why are you behaving on our platform? No. Why are you broadcasting what he's doing? But, why are you broadcasting? There's bigger things to worry about. I think there's, the thing there's is, hunger, there's world uh, hunger, on, there's yes, strikes, there's all of this stuff. That, what, uh, is let, this? Let what is let this right uh, now? What is Lawrence, this right now? Who am I? I'm someone from the hood. I'm an 18-year-old boy. I have a child. I'm from the hood. I'm just here. I'm that's actually fine. living my and life. That's fine. And you've had your chance to speak. So I want to talk to Laura Bates about this. I mean, you know, all this stuff, though, about Andrew Tate saying, you know, he's back on Twitter. He's on TikTok. And much as hate speech. He would say, though, that other things he says are just about dark humour and satire. Oh, sure. But, like, you know, all of the jokes in the world don't make it OK that he's under yeah. arrest on those charges or that he's openly advocating coercion and abuse. So it's odd, I think, that people are kind of saying, oh, well, if he says one mm. good thing about being disciplined, that, oh, that other stuff doesn't really matter. You know, that doesn't really count. Andrew Tate isn't, you know, world famous because he's some Svengali Pied Piper figure that I think the mainstream media has played a big role in building him up to be. He's one of hundreds. This is a much yeah. bigger problem. Well, I was going to say, the thing about really this is here. you're never going to stop the Andrew Tates of this world. Um, but when kids in primary school are, for, are referencing them, where yeah. is the hope? Because you talk about the good role models. Yeah. But you're talking about children yeah. in the ac have broad access to social media. Well, yeah, and of course we know that social media, it's not enhancing content that's really relevant or really good quality. We know that those algorithms are designed to drive young people towards increasingly extreme content because that's what gets them clicks. So if we look at who's profiting here, Andrew Tate's profiting, mm -hmm. certainly. Lizzie's profiting. Really tantamount, <laughs> yes, tantamount to a pyramid scheme. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, the BBC is profiting, the mainstream media is profiting. Mm -hmm. I totally agree with you. Social media is profiting. Who's not really profiting from it? Consumers. I think it's, it's yeah. teenage boys and Consumers. it's women. I mean, do you see the damage that people, not just Andrew Tate, but that, that whole idea of hate speech, because as you say, you were raised by a, a single mother, the damage that hate speech does to kids? 100%. Like, I'm not saying that con like, kids shouldn't listen to Andrew Tate. Kids shouldn't listen to somebody else that is sharing hateful stuff, like whatever it is. Even if you're trying to do it for controversy, even my pranks, I don't condone no. doing my pranks. I've never said once, oh, do my no. pranks. No. I know what I do. I'm taking up, like, I'm taking, like, I'm sitting here mm. talking about my pranks. I'm here acknowledging what I've done. And, and, and pranks, and I wonder, because what Laura Bates is saying is that actually there's lots of people that are doing a lot of work around kids to help them to make sure that they understand what's right and what's wrong. You are, in a sense, an influencer. You've got lots no, of followers. I'm an influencer. So just, you might need to understand this, yeah? I'm going to make the youth the biggest thing in the, in the world, innit? I'm going to help the youth, like. You might think I'm just going to... I'm this bad villain, yeah? You guys think I'm this character. I'm this character for a reason, bro. Um, Mizzy is a character that I put into so, perspective, basically. So, so we just talk about all these different uh, role models. We need more and more role models now. And well, yeah, but I think we also need to examine the role that social media and the mainstream yeah. media are playing in giving a platform to certain role models over others. Thank you both very much indeed. A report by Nation